Hello everybody and welcome back to another Drawing with Hannah video. Who's Hannah? I'm Hannah. Hi, nice to meet you. How you doing? Hey, hello. Hey there. Hi. <laughs> so, today, I want to draw people faces. I want to draw faces. I like drawing people, especially faces of people. So, we should draw those today. So, if you want to tag along, go ahead and grab your sketchbook, pencil, paper, piece, and tablet, all of the above. Whatever you use to draw with, go ahead and draw, grab, draw, wow, guys, wow. <laughs> go ahead and grab that and, you know, if you don't want to and you just want to watch, that's okay too. But if you want to draw along, grab your stuff. Let's do this. All righty. So, <laughs> I love drawing people, guys. This is, this is what I draw. I draw people. I draw faces. I draw things like that. I draw humanoid, humanoid things. So, hopefully this video goes well. <laughs> so, kind of my, here's, here's a short little process of how I draw people faces, but I draw my circle. Drama circle does not have to be perfect. It's just a squiggle. It's just there for reference. This does not have to be a perfect circle. Do not spend your time going like this. Being like, oh man, it's not a perfect circle. And then erasing it all and doing that again. That is a waste of time. That is going to make you quit. And that is going to turn you into a perfectionist. Or a kind of perfectionist where you can't learn how to move on. So... <laughs> Just draw a super loose circle, not a perfect circle, doesn't matter what it looks like. Alright, and then I like to draw my handy dandy line down the middle. It's usually what I go to because it shows me where my character is facing. And that's what I'm usually established from the very beginning because I usually have a pose in mind. And so I'm like, okay, so if they're doing like this pose, their face is going to be facing that way. So I draw that line to show me where they're going. So obviously this person is facing forward. Um... And then I like to come in and draw my jawline. You know how like, <laughs> I definitely got this from probably drawing anime when I was when I was way younger. Totally started with anime where they have these circles, they're pretty perfect lines. And then you come in here, you have your box shape, and then you're like super big eyes, and then you like, hey. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, um, I like this tool because it helps me even though like look at this jaw It's not perfect. Nobody's face is perfect. If your faces are perfectly symmetrical Symmetrical and you did that all yourself. That's actually very impressive, but at the same time People are gonna look at perfectly symmetrical things and I've done this with my own art I've done this with my own art where I draw I use the symmetry tool I literally used a symmetry tool on a digital art program and it was a cool drawing i was very proud of myself because it was one of the first digital pieces i had ever done and i was like 12 10 and but i would look at it and it just felt off because everything was perfect and that's not how people are people aren't perfectly symmetrical the beautiful things about people is that they are all different and that they are not perfect um of course, we all strive for perfection, I know. But, I mean, even though, like, now, hey, kind of looks like I've lined up my points here. They're not perfect. But that's what's going to make this character awesome. It's going to make them seem more alive. It's going to make them seem more, like, fluid and real and not so, like, stiff. You know? Like a robot. If you couldn't see my arms there, um... I was doing the robot. You missed out. <laughs> anyway, so here, so here's my face. Here, I've ba I've drawn my basic face. I have my line where they're facing. I have their jaw down, and I have the, the skull thing. And now I I like to place my eyes on a line as well. I draw two lines: this line and this line, wherever it's at. And that just, that helps me place my eyes and my ears. I generally like, I put this line basically where the circle 
however, like, wherever it meets. Once again, it's not perfect. But where the circle... Gosh, guys. I'm not breathing today. I'm yawning. <laughs> but we're good. We're good. We're gonna get through this. So, I like to place this line right where, like, the circle meets the jawline that I've drawn. Because, to me, that that's where... That's where the eyes kind of meet. So I either draw like the top lid or like a circle to mark where my eyes are. Really depends on the day, honestly, and how I'm feeling, how I'm drawing, all that stuff. And then I... Sometimes I actually don't draw ears, probably because I know I'm gonna they're going to be covered up by hair. Um, but if I am drawing the ears, I put the ears kind of where that line is. At least I start, I put that like right here this this point where your ear connects to your head the top part that is kind of where the line is so i put that there and i have these cute little ears they can be as big or as little as you want them to be everybody's ear size is different um and then i draw my nose and my nose honestly a lot of this placement is just from like knowing now you know it's not like Oh, now I have these exact lines, and this is where the circle meets the thing, and so that's where my eyes are, and then, oh, my nose is, like, a half inch below the eyes, and, like, like I don't go by measurement anymore, it's just kind of feeling it out, feeling what this person, this face that I've drawn needs, because also, all faces are different, and goodness gracious, okay, all faces are different, and so if, like, Let's say I'm drawing like a, a more, like a smaller face. I'm gonna have like my line showing. I have a smaller jaw. Gosh, that's an awful jaw, but it's fine. Nobody's face is perfect. And then I have, maybe I'm drawing a kid and their eyes are like right here. Their nose is gonna be pretty close to their eyes. Like they're not gonna have as much space on their face for their features, even though their features are small. Does that make sense? So, my my nose kind of, like, well, if you can see this, it kind of lines up with the bottom of the ears. Once again, not a perfectly straight line. It's kind of tilted, but that's fine. It lines up with, like, the bottom of the ears, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see, like, the bottom of my nose and I bring it here, look. The bottom of my ear. Ha! Ha ha ha. Um, so, yeah, so we have... And then I like to go in and I draw these little nostrils and maybe curve them up kind of a thing. But now I have nostrils on the nose and then the mouth literally is in the middle of this space. Like it's, it's not that hard to find the mouth. At least not for me. It's become, once again, it's all really intuitive now. And honestly, the more you draw, well, the more you draw something, like if you draw that thing over and over and over again, like I've done with people. You'll start knowing how to do it without even knowing that you know. Does that make sense? <laughs> you, you will just know how to draw it. It'll become a part of you. But yeah, there's our little mouth. Maybe I'll actually give this, this guy eyes. I think it's a guy. I feel like I've drawn a, a boy face. Maybe a teenager boy face. Maybe it's the ears. I don't know. But he's a boy. I'm going to draw him. Oh, goodness. Where did my style... There we go. And... Yeah. There's a little face. Now, with a neck, I've said this in my, um... Just drawing a body. Breaking down the body video. Where the neck is... Mm, well, okay. Technically, the neck is as big as your head. The neck is as wide as your head is wide. I hate drawing necks like that. I don't like I don't like drawing muscle man necks unless I'm drawing a muscle man. I mean, at least in my art style, that's what necks look like. A lot of the time, like when you see people drawing realism and things like that, it doesn't look that way because human beings, when you look at them, they don't look like muscle man people, I guess. Like they just look like regular people with their necks as big as their head. But in my art style, I don't like to do that. I like to draw my necks inside the head. So like, they come from the inside. They're not coming out from where the point of the jaw is. They're coming from the inside. 
and I can still make them look buff if I want to, but yeah. So, there's a cute little people face. There's a cute little face. Oh, blushies. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a person facing forward. I like to have their eyes. With their eyes, I just kind of do a top lid a lot of the time, and then I'll do like an oval circle thing for their actual eye. You know. Gosh. Dang it, I'm gonna hear a whole mouthful about yawning in this video. Guys, don't judge me. <laughs> now, let's say, what about a side view? What does it look like to draw somebody from the side? Let's look at that, how about that, shall we? Let's do this in blue. We're gonna do this in, actually, we're gonna do this in like a cyan color. Alrighty, so if I'm drawing someone from the side, I still start out with my head. I start out with that circle. I start out with that circle no matter what, guys. Unless I guess, I'm, unless I guess, <laughs> unless I'm not drawing a head, I guess. But if I'm drawing a head, I start out with this circle. It's like the, the base of the, it's the skull, right? So I'm drawing that and now I need to draw my line of where my person's facing, right? Guess where that goes. Ba Boom, right there. We're gonna say my person is facing that way. So, there's my line. Now, I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna think of splitting my circle into thirds. A line right here and I have a line right here. Not perfect thirds, it's fine. And this is where the jaw is. And I'm gonna bring down so we have this kind of shape right there. And uh, mm -hmm, I feel like, there we go. I like to have pointy jaws, I guess. <laughs> so there we go. There's my third. I kind of brought it in a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, and then that's also where my ear is. So that's where I've connected it. But you see like, right here on me right there here's the back of the back of my head is here and it's not perfectly in the center because i have more head here than i do back here but then there's my ear there's my jaw connects right down there and obviously you can make a person's jaw as square or as pointy or rectangular or whatever as you want uh, this person's jaw is pointy and then um there we put the base of their neck kind of like behind the ear ish right there and then somewhere in the middle of the jaw let's make this a man we're gonna give him an adam's apple boop boop there's a little pointy there's his neck and i i draw this because you have like ligament things in your neck and there's lines and that's why i draw that but we're focusing on the face <laughs> so now Okay, so I have my ear. I've drawn my ear before I've even drawn the line for my eyes. What is happening? So, once again, I put the line for my eyes like right here. Close to where, once again, <laughs> the face connects to the circle. We have the ear there. That's where my eyes are going to be, right? We have the eyes. And then, what I do for the nose is I draw a circle right outside right outside this nice little facing line is and i'm gonna go in and from there i'm gonna pull out a line and bring it back in and there's your nose obviously the nose can be bigger if you want it to be it can be smaller it's up to you but there's a nose and then one thing i tried today that actually helped that i usually don't like doing is i did two small circles right here kind of looks funny but I brought it out and there were oh gosh that looks awful I'm gonna make my brush smaller maybe darker so you can see too but do 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 make my brush a little smaller there's those two lines those two circles and I mean I'm telling you it worked earlier today but it might not work this time I might just think it looks ridiculous and never do it again but there's lips. 
And then I usually, I bring the chin out just a little bit if the lips pull everything forward more because I don't like my chins going backwards from the lips. And then you kind of come here, kind of, I mean, obviously like if you look here, you can see my jawline, but there's still, I have skin and stuff that connects downwards first before my jaw even like looks like it hits my neck. Does that make sense? So technically I don't actually draw this all the time when I'm drawing a side view, but you have this part that comes down and we have Adam's apple, all that stuff. And then I like to come in, draw the jaw, and we have the ear again, yay! And we've made a full circle. So I'm gonna go in over this with a slightly harder brush. And we're gonna just go in with dark blue. So I come here and I go over my line. Look, there's a nice little nose. I'm gonna come in here, indent this and give him a nostril. And then there's a lip and there's a lip. Do a little smiley face. I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit more. Cause I also, I think one thing that really gets me with side views is the chin and the lips. Cause I don't want my chins to be super out or super in, but I don't want my lips to be like this. <laughs> I, I hate that. <laughs> but I'm gonna come here and connect that, have this. Boom, boom. His chin is kind of small for this guy. I feel like he needs more meat on his bones. But yeah, we do that. Ooh, ooh, yucky. Why did I go off my sketch? Sometimes it's okay to go off the sketch. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> and there's the ear. And then for the eye. So my eye, where did my stylus go? There we go. My eye is also facing this way. So we're not going to see the same like, oh, look. Oh, wait, this is a man, not a girl. Look at that. Like you could draw your eye like this, but I think I like to draw my eyes actually like facing the same direction. There's an eyelid and then he has an eyebrow. Forgot to do the eyebrows on the other dude. That's fine. But look at that! And now we have a handsome young face. Look at him. Look at that guy. Look at that! Give this guy eyebrows. <laughs> okay, but there, there's a side view. So steps to a side view. You draw your circle here. I'm gonna go over this and ruin our beautiful side view for a second. I did not mean to group that, but that's fine. So we're gonna go over here, you draw your beautiful circle, and then you draw your line of where your person's facing. And then you're gonna go into like two thirds into your circle, and that's where your jawline is. And then you draw your ear. And then from there, a little bit behind your ear, there's your neck. Your neck connects here about the center of the jaw. And then we'll draw a little circle for the nose. You can connect the nose then if you want, or you can wait after you draw two little circles for your lips. Boom, boom, and then you can go over that. Woohoo! When I draw lips, I don't actually like to connect the mouth fully. I I feel like in my style, it looks weird. I can't I can't pull that off. Like that looks weird, guys. I don't like that. <laughs> I like having that little separation. I think that's the side of me that drew anime for so long. <laughs> I I like that separation. Obviously, unless the person's mouth is like actually open. I've been experimenting with that. But yeah, but there's there's a little there's a little face. All right. Now what about a three quarter view? Ooh. <laughs> so we're gonna do this in. Purple. Actually, no, we're gonna do this in red. Do it in red. Do it in red, guys. So, we have our circle. We start with our circle, always. Always have a circle. <laughs> and now, I'm gonna have my person facing a three-quarter view, which means not just fully a side view, 
but a view where you can see literally three quarters of their face. It looks like it because you have this quarter that's gone or almost gone. It's just harder to see. So let's see. Let's have him since we had our side view guy facing that way. That way, that way, that way. <laughs> um, let's just have him, have him facing that way too. So I'm putting my line right there. It's kind of like, you know, how we had our, our, our thirds in our skull for the side view. It's kind of like where you either put your line at the first third on the left or the first third on the right, if that makes sense for a three quarter view. And now this kind of looks funny, doesn't it? I have my line here, but now my circle looks like it's going up here and it looks like the person's like almost looking up, but they don't have to be. There's my line. There's my straight line where my eyes are gonna be. And now essentially a three quarter view is just mashing these two views up and you have this guy. And so if you really wanted, you could even like layer those two on top and try figuring it out there. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you how I draw it here. Oh, I did something to my computer. Thank you. Okay, we're back to normal. And then, so from here, I have this side of my skull, I guess. And I'm gonna come here and then I'm gonna indent into that line that I created. This is where the eye is, right? And so we all have this slight indent because of how our skulls are formed, where you have like your eyebrow and then you indent for the eyes, right? So, and then I'm gonna come back out again from that line and you have a cheek. Then you bring in the chin. Do, 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 do. And then you have the rest of the jaw. And then there's your ear. I feel like we're drawing the same guy as John is thin enough. There we go. Boop. <laughs> so I guess he's slightly tilted up, but that's fine. And then your neck, it comes out from behind the ear. Either, yeah, that's probably where I like to draw it mostly where the ear and the jaw kind of connect. That's kind of where I probably usually bring out the neck. And then the other part of your neck is close to your chin. Comes out close to your chin. At least that's where I usually draw it. Then obviously, if this guy's a guy, I mean, you can see the Adam's apple from this angle still, so give him a little point. Where did my stylus go? There we go. Be back. All right. And then we have our nose. We have our eyes still on our line, and then we have a mouth. And so we have an eye right here. This guy, this eye is actually pretty normal. It's a lot like the front view eye. This eye that is on the side that is the, the last quarter of the face that you can't see as well, it is going to be slightly angled and smaller than the other eye. So I'm going to make my color a little bit darker so you can see this a little bit better. Hopefully, actually, I'll make my, my brush harder too. But this eye, it's, it's like a, a mashup between the front facing eye and the side eye because it will... Let's see, we have a little circle for this eye, let's say. It's going, because you're coming at it from an angle, it's going to angle as well. So instead of being like the front eye where you see all of it, you know, like you have your eyeball here or something like that, it's going to be more angled inward, if that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining this well, because you have like the indent on your cheek. Let's say you have your nose line here. I'm gonna come in here, because you're gonna see more of the eyelid. It's like the side facing eye that we drew. It comes down into a point. And there's your, your pupil, let's say, and then you see like the crease of the eye. It's that plus 
the front facing one where it can just look anywhere. So you have this roundness, but you have something that almost comes into a point because you are, let's see if you can see with this, cause my eye comes in and you see the ridge of my nose right here, the bridge of my nose. And then my eye comes in, you're seeing those eyelids, but you don't necessarily see where it connects on the other side. So that's why your eye is like this. And you don't necessarily see the other ear, sometimes depending on the three quarter view, if they're not like seriously turned away from you, maybe you see it. But yeah, so this eye, maybe I should have stuck with my darker color. We're gonna do that, that. There's that eye. And he's obviously looking that way. Have an ear, la di da da Okay, and then the nose. The nose is also a mashup of the front facing nose and the side facing nose. So you see, you have nostrils, you kind of see both of them, but then you're gonna come in and actually see like the contour of the nose. So you'll see the bridge. You'll see the tip of the nose. Right there, and I need to make my eraser smaller. And then sometimes you'll see the other nostril, other times you won't, and it'll be more like a side facing nose than a front facing nose. But then you have this nostril here, you have that. And then for the eyebrows, I actually, I like to connect. Sometimes I like to connect the, the fourth quarter eyebrow, this guy over here, to where the nose starts. So you kind of have this, this thing that's like actually cutting things off. And then, um, and then the other eyebrow just, it goes over the other eye. Easy peasy. And there is your three quarter view. There we go. So they all have a very, very similar process. It's just a matter of where you angle things. Um, so, like I said, so we all, all of them have these two lines. These lines where it shows you where it's facing and then where the eyes are. And I mean, this guy has it right here. It's just right there. I'm gonna change my brush. Gosh dang it. Okay, boom, boom. There it is. And then this guy has it right here. Boom, boom. And also, depending on where you put these lines, you could have someone facing upwards, downwards, like another three quarter view that way. Honestly, these lines are the things that help me a lot when I'm drawing faces. And then my circle, always draw your circles. Always draw your circles, guys. And I think those things just help everything come together. But yeah. There you go. There's a front, side, and three-quarter view of a person's face. Um, I hope this was helpful. I really enjoyed this. I like drawing faces a lot. I feel like this is where my art actually looks good. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. Once again, if you drew along, go ahead and comment down below on what you drew, whether it was this, what I was drawing on the screen, or if you drew your own thing, let me know if this was helpful and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. But yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Have a fantastic day. Bye.